This is experiment two, calibration of a pipette and a 50 milliliter graduated cylinder. And I want to talk about uh, why we need to calibrate uh, the pipette and the graduated cylinder, the pipette in particular. Uh, I've marked my pipette to make sure that I can tell it from, apart from the other ones because uh, once I calibrate it, I'm going to want to know how, uh, when and how to find this. Now, uh, this pipette has lines, and for example, here is the 2.0 milliliter line. And typically, on chemistry glassware and plasticware, the lines are given with the correct level of accuracy, meaning if the markings here go 2.0, uh, 2.53, that would be a marking that would tell you that uh, you can use this pipette to measure to the nearest tenth of a milliliter. But we want to test that. We want to see is that true, how accurately, how precisely can we use this pipette. And I think we can use it quite precisely and quite accurately. And that's the point of this lab, is to show how accurately and precisely we can use it. Uh, in fact, in a typical chemistry lab, you will see some um, glassware that just has one mark on it and printed, uh, for example, on a 20.00 milliliter pipette will be one line and it will have four decimal places, or sorry, four sig figs, two decimal places. Um, so the number of lines uh, is used as an indication, but not always tells you how accurate and precise something is. Um, now, uh, one thing that we know is we know the density of water very precisely and accurately at a given temperature. So we'll need to keep track of temperature for this lab, and we'll need to keep track of the mass and we'll be able to use density to get volumes in order to calibrate this pipette and this graduated cylinder. And this is important because once we calibrate it, if uh, we can fill it to the 2.0 line or some of the other lines as well for this lab and know exactly how much uh, volume of solution we're getting. And we're going to do a lot of things by volume throughout the course of our experiments. Now, um, so for example, if I fill it to the 2.0 line and I get 2.10 plus or minus 0 0.01 milliliters or 0 0.05 milliliters, then we can always fill it to the line and know that instead of 2, it's, it's 2.10 plus or minus 0 0.05. So that's the point of this lab. Uh, our known reference state is the density of water at a given temperature. So make sure you record your temperature accurately. Um, and from here on out, uh, we'll use these pipettes as a fairly accurate and precise uh, uh, way to deliver a volume.